Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and welcome to today's webinar on International Master's Programs in Management, Economics and Sciences at the University of Cologne. Uh, my name is Hanni Geist. I'm your host for today. I will be mainly in the background um, working on uh, techniques here. Um, and I will also uh, collect questions and I will uh, moderate the Q&A at the year end. With us today, we have uh, Stephanie Beide. Um, she's the program manager for Masters in International Management and Masters in Mission. She's um, at the University of Cologne, and she will talk to you today about the Masters program in International Management, and she will also introduce to you uh, the University of Cologne and answer a few um, general questions that you may have about studying in Cologne. Um, I record this webinar and I will sh uh, share this uh, slide um, and these slides with you later on our webinar archive website and I will send a follow-up email to all uh, that are listening live at the moment. But again, you can find all the recordings and our presentations on our webinar website as well. And of course, you saw the uh, email addresses that we had on the previous slide, you'll of course be able to contact us at a later point should you have any questions. And for those that are listening live, there's a handout you can download right away. Again, if you don't listen to this live, but as a recording, you can go to the DAB.org page to the webinar section and in the archive you will find this presentation as well. Now, um, just very briefly before we jump into the uh, presentation about the University of Cologne, I just wanted to briefly talk to you about DAD. Um, we uh, represent um, international, in, we represent higher education abroad, we represent German universities, uh, meaning that uh, we do advice generally on studying in Germany, also on doing research in Germany. So should you have any questions about that, feel free to get in touch with either the San Francisco or the New York office. And um, DAD also provides scholarships and grants to academics at all stages and all disciplines. And I would just really only highlight one scholarship that's really relevant for specifically what we're going to talk to uh, about today, and that's the study scholarship for graduates of all disciplines. And that is, um, as you can see, funding opportunity for you to cover living expenses if you would like to proceed uh, pursue a master's for two years in Germany. And so um, seniors are eligible to apply, so if you're currently a final year student, you can uh, apply to this grant if you would like to continue with the master's right after graduation. But if you've already graduated, you are eligible to apply to this grant up to six years after graduation. So for this grant, you don't necessarily have to prove German language skills if it's not a requirement for the program, but of course it's always an advantage if you do speak some German. Um, with the study scholarship, you'll receive 850 euros a month, get health and liability insurance, and also a travel stipend. Um, today is October 31st, so you see here November 5th is the deadline. Um, if you're interested in applying um, for the 2019-20 academic year, you'll have to apply fairly soon. Um, if you can make it this year, there will be another call for applications next year. This deadline will also be early November. And then um, finally, just very briefly, I just wanted to mention that if you do want to uh, do research at the University of Cologne, maybe if you're a student here, you have some research projects, maybe you uh, find a mentor at the University of Cologne, you can also apply for research funding for short-term or long-term research. Both the study scholarship and the research grant, you find more information on our DAD.org website and you can connect with us on our social media pages where you can also find more information. And with that, um, I want to uh, conclude this part of this presentation. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me or my colleagues in uh, San Francisco, uh, Can in Toronto, or New York. Um, but now I would like to hand over the microphone and also the computer to uh, my colleague, Stephanie Beide, who is with us today from uh, Cologne. Yeah, 
Thank you, Ms. Geist. Um, so good morning and hello, everybody. So um, my name is Stefanie Weide and I'm working at the University of Cologne, as uh, Ms. Geist already has mentioned, uh, at the Faculty of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. So as a program manager, I'm responsible for management of the study programs and the master admission process here um, at our faculty. So in the next round about uh, 15 minutes, I will give you a short overview of, uh, over the city of Cologne, the University of Cologne, and of course of, um, of my school and our master programs. Um, and um, yeah, so um, of course uh, we'll give you uh, the copy of the presentation to make sure you get all the information you need. Um, but of course you can download further information about the specific master programs um, on our website. So let's get started. Um, our school is located in Cologne, which is in the middle western part of uh, Germany. Um, Germany is in the heart of Europe, as you maybe know, and it's the largest economy in the European Union. We are home of countless global players like Siemens, Daimler, uh, Bosch, Volkswagen, etc. So and uh, Cologne is uh, one of Europe's leading economic regions. It's also called Germany's uh, media capital, uh, since we are, for example, the headquarter of a big TV station here in Cologne, uh, RTL. So, but we are also directly connected with all major cities in Europe via our um, airport, uh, Köln Bonn. So, um, well, yeah, that uh, maybe made us the fourth largest city with one million uh, inhabitants and uh, approximately 10% um, of our inhabitants are students. So uh, you really see that uh, Cologne is a, a student city and uh, well, we are famous for the Gothic cathedral, Kölner Dom. Uh, it's a medieval city center and the carnival session. So that would be once uh, in a year for one week, you, we would celebrate and uh, dress up. Um, yeah, so um, that brings me to the another important uh, um, topic of a student life. We also have a, a red nightlife here with more than 70 clubs, countless bars and uh, breweries. So um, yeah, next to all the uh, learning and the uh, researching, we would have um, a good place um, yeah, to just enjoy life. Um, so we would have a good uh, university and a good uh, pub. Well, but uh, university first. Um, university of Cologne um, has a long uh, academic tradition. It's founded in uh, 1388. And we are one of the largest university here in Germany with um, about 50,000 students. Uh, the University of Cologne uh, was recently again awarded um, um, for its uh, outstanding research performance by the German government with the so-called University of uh, Excellence uh, Award. So, that uh, really uh, speaks for the university, um, but we are also uh, proud to be a very international university. So that means that we have a lot of foreign students, uh, Erasmus students, so that meaning exchange students, um, but also um, international um, staff and international um, faculty is uh, increasing in the last years. And we try to improve this international environment for example, by conducting uh, summer schools or inviting guest uh, scholars to the year. So, um, so of course, we are having an international office. Um, I will just uh, give you my uh, the contact of my colleague, Mrs. Boland. Um, she is in charge for more like general uh, questions regarding, uh, well, like later on for your residence uh, permit, financing your studies here in Cologne. Um, so this would be just uh, one slide with 
formation on this um, matter. Uh, but now I want to concentrate on, on my school, on the uh, Faculty of Management, Economics and Social Science which also has um, a long uh, history since it's established in uh, 1901. Um, and um, yeah, it's unique in its transdisciplinary approach between management, economics and social science. So you will see that later on when I um, present you our um, master programs. So just um, let's focus on this um, the school a bit more, just uh, as you can see here, the um, short form it's VISO school, so that's just the, the meaning that it combines um, several disciplines. So um, some key figures, um, we are a large uh, universe, sorry, we are a large school, we are offering um, about 19 bachelor's and programs and we are having um, more than 140 academic uh, partners worldwide and of course I can show you the quality of our school um, in terms of accreditation and, and um, ranking performance. Um, I will just pick one uh, example um, which is the SEMS network. Um, some of you maybe already have known, um, have listened, um, sorry, <laughs> Uh, for you it's in the morning, for me it's uh, late in the evening. So it's the uh, SEMS is the Global Alliance in Management and Education. And our school is the only German member in this network. And um, together with this uh, alliance, uh, we are offering the master program in international management. And we are very proud to have this kind of flagship program here at our school. And um, yeah, you can find more information about structure etc online I just want to highlight um, this one and yeah of course we are an international school we have a lot of partner universities worldwide um, for example for your semester abroad if you are um, interested in, in doing that uh, we also support all our students uh, with a, a so-called career service so um, for students who are seeking uh, internships, uh, they, if they need career counseling, um, the Visa Career Services um, um, is there as a central point of contact for all matters relating uh, work ex to work experience and uh, graduate employment. So now let's um, come to our master programs here in Cologne. As I mentioned before, we are uh, we can offer a, a wide discipline of uh, courses. So the mirrors uh, here in our um, program portfolio. So we are offering five programs in a business administration. Then we have the international management master. We have economics, a master in health economics, information systems, political science. Uh, sociology and social research and also a one in um, economic education which is more interesting for uh, German students but I just want to give you um, yeah the complete picture. Um, so let's focus maybe on a business administration there we can offer five different programs since our field of business administration is um, kind of uh, huge and uh, we have a lot of excellent uh, professors in this area. So we can offer a um, master in accounting and taxation, one in corporate development, finance, marketing, and supply chain management. Um, if you say, okay, well, one is fine, but I want uh, two degrees just uh, after four semesters of studying, we can of course offer you um, a double master program. So in addition to our master's program um, at the Wiesel faculty, we've established um, double master programs where you would benefit um, from the outstanding expertise of two universities, spending one year studying at uh, each university and graduating with two master's degrees. So for example, you could choose uh, a master uh, in business administration where you would spend one year here in Cologne and then the other one at, uh, for example, the Alto University uh, School of Business in Finland. So um, that's just one example to um, maybe um, get like uh, all out of your studies here in Cologne. Of course, we are having certain uh, requirements uh, 
apply here in Cologne. One of them are language requirements, um, because not all, all our um, master programs are uh, taught in English, the majority, but as you can see on the right side, we still have some bilingual courses that would be the Master in Accounting and Taxation, Supply Chain Management, Health Economics and Information Systems. So there you would still have to prove your uh, German language skills on a C1 level. So, um, but anyway, um, uh, if you want to choose, for example, the Master in Economics, we would still recommend you to uh, participate in a German language course um, because it's very important here in Germany to, to speak the language. Um, so after uh, your master's studies, if you want to work here, that's, um, that's still a major requirement for employers here in Germany. So um, talking about applications, um, I don't want to go into detail, but just give you the most important facts. So that's okay, yes, we are having deadlines. So if you want to apply for the Master in International Management, the SEMS Master, um, you have to be kind of quick. So it's like um, until March uh, 31st. Uh, there's a deadline, the double master programs, um, there the deadline would be May 15 and June 15 for all the other master programs. Um, the application process uh, um, is um, uh, described online on our website where we also um, have a, a list with all the necessary documents um, you would need. So you just would just select the master program you want to apply for and then you find all the informations and also uh, information on the um, on, on kind of documents. So if they need to be translated and uh, what um, authentication you need etc and uh, where do we have to apply so it's online but it's also for you guys um, you would have to apply at uni assist because students who have obtained their bachelor degree outside of germany they need to apply um, additionally at uni assist it's an uh, external service provider uh, who assesses um, foreign university certificates so um, that's just the the last uh, uh, important point uh, I want to mention concerning application here at uh, Cologne. Uh, but then some uh, good news. Um, um, we already talked about uh, scholarships. Um, there's um, Skyse, the expert for the, for example, DAD uh, scholarships. Um, I just want to mention that the University of Cologne is a state funded. So there are no tuition fees, just a biannual uh, semester contribution, which is uh, slightly more than 260 euros. So this one already includes a semester ticket for transport, uh, public transport throughout uh, Cologne's home state here. So um, yeah, that's uh, some good information, um, yeah, like money-wise. So no tuition fees, but many career opportunities. Uh, at our school, we really focus on your career in a global business environment and our graduates are successful in business positions as well in a freelancer roles in the media sector, in public relations and in non-profit companies. So, um, yeah, in a nutshell, um, why Cologne? Why Germany here? Um, really, we are offering a unique range of subjects here at the um, Faculty of Management and uh, Economics and Social Science. It's a wide range of possibilities for specialization, allowing you to design your master's programs according to your personal interests and needs. Um, the video faculty is amongst the leaders in prestigious university rankings. We offer a unique network of research resources and institutions. And on the other hand, the uh, university, the faculty has cultivated relationships with numerous employers on regional, national and uh, international level. And we really support our students with our career service. Um, like to, to um, we want to, you to, to um, yeah, become successful uh, graduates. And um, 
the faculty has been among the top four universities in terms of quality of graduates in the so-called Wirtschaftswoche ranking. It's a German economic journal. So um, yeah, and last but not least, um, we offer various services at our faculty, such as the student service or the um, career service. So um, yeah, thank you very much for your interest in our master programs and your time. And um, if you have further questions, please contact our student service uh, via a telephone or just uh, write them a short email. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I, I do have a few questions that I think would be interesting um, to a few um, who may also listen to this uh, webinar later on. Um, one question you actually just answered and where the alumni are now, so you already talked about that. Um, do you have um, on your website any um, kind of um, short blurbs um, so that students that are interested may, may read up on maybe some alumni and where they are now? Or do you have a few more stories um, that you can share with us? Um, let me think about it. Um, well, I think one uh, way to, to find out uh, about uh, sex, well, successful uh, alumni would be um, we have a, uh, an own alumni alumni uh, service, uh, alumni, what is it, a society. Uh, they have a own um, website. Uh, I, maybe I can add our link to that um, on the last slide with uh, helpful links. And uh, I guess my, my colleague, she has uh, really some, some interviews and also some uh, just short texts uh, where some um, yeah, alumni uh, just um, talk about their, uh, their experiences here at our school and uh, yeah, about their uh, career they are uh, like uh, having now. <laughs> so um, yeah. yeah, I think, um, that would be a way to, to give you some examples. Okay, perfect. And then um, I'm, I'm sure you, you mentioned it, but um, just um, for our listeners to explicitly um, state it again, um, the MA program um, will be recognized um, international. Is that correct? So um, if, if students uh, want to pursue the master's um, at the University of Cologne, but they may want to either come back to the United States or Canada or may f um, look for work otherwise, um, this degree will be recognized internationally, correct? Yes, that's correct. And uh, maybe just one um, uh, like quality assurance uh, um, um, proof would be uh, on one side, I uh, also mentioned the accreditation. So we are accredited by an um, organization called ICWIS, and there are many like top business schools worldwide um, who are sharing the same uh, kind of accreditation. So that is, for example, one um, just uh, a proof to, to all our um, uh, graduates that their masters are accredited uh, um, and recognized like, uh, everywhere in the world. Um, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And then, um, so the application requirements in, in Germany in general, um, so for a master's program, it requires a bachelor's degree in the same or, or very similar field, correct? Yes. Um, well, that's not. Uh, I can't speak for for Germany in total, but for example, at our schools, we only offer so-called consecutive uh, master programs, meaning that our masters um, build uh, on certain knowledge uh, and competences already gained in the bachelor uh, program. So, if you want to study a master in business administration, you need to have a certain um, experience in, in your bachelor with business administration. Um, economics, but also mathematics and uh, statistics. So um, if someone, and because um, here um, in the United States, for example, it is fairly common that someone um, has a slightly different um, kind of, like approaches it a, a, a little bit differently, in, like having a bachelor's in one field than maybe getting some work experience and pursuing a master's in a different one, would the... Um, would like work rec um, experience, for example, internships, um, would that um, qualify for someone or, or would someone really need to have a bachelor's in the same uh, field to be eligible um, for this master's program? 
Yeah, uh, we are getting this uh, question a lot, and unfortunately, it's not uh, it's not possible to qualify with uh, any work experience. Um, so you you really would need a, a bachelor um, degree in this certain area, and we we couldn't have um, like a, accept um, experiences in in like in, in work or into like from internships. Okay. So for this kind of uh, uh, students. I would um, uh, recommend our executive MBA um, because this one is really for people who have maybe um, bachelor in engineering, have worked in a company and now want to, to do an MBA. But our regular master programs, um, no, there you really would need the bachelor uh, certificate in this kind of area. And so um, would you, um, so um, I would assume a bachelor in, in math, for example, would, would also work or would it have to be in like economics or business, or can it be somewhat related fields where a student may have taken classes, um, specifically like business classes? Yeah, yeah it really depends on the master program. Okay. So it, every student really has to, to check the um, subject related criteria for each master program. So for example, the, for the master in economics, uh, a master in uh, mathematics will be sufficient. But again, for the master in international management, there are like like several areas where you really need to to check. Okay, do we have enough uh, credit points in this area? So it's 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 yeah, kind of uh, you really have to to check. And okay. um, we all we always um, welcome uh, international students to just send us their uh, their their transcript, and then we will check uh, just briefly whether they would be uh, eligible or not. Okay, perfect. And then um, my last question would be, so the, the program itself is in English. Um, and I see here on the slide, you have um, German language courses as a last link. So for, for students um, who um, study full time in an English um, taught program, for them, would it be possible to on the side also take German classes to improve their, their German, especially for those that may seek a career in Germany where they they may need fluent or at least some German. Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, that's why we, we mentioned that uh, we are, are um, established a, a lot of uh, German language courses and um, we really um, encourage our students to um, to participate in these courses. And um, since we are really, uh, our international students, they are increasing uh, the last year. So we really, uh, we see the, the demand for this kind of courses and we are um, we are really like acting uh, on this demand. And um, yeah, there's uh, opportunities for our international students who want to um, uh, improve or just gain German language uh, skills. Okay, wonderful. Um, that is all the questions that I have. Um, before we close this, is there anything else that you would like to maybe say that wasn't mentioned already in your presentation? Um, no, I think it's just um, have a look on our website to see, um, get to get more a closer look on, on our programs. And uh, yeah, then if you have further questions, just uh, maybe just contact us and we will be happy to, to answer your questions. Great, wonderful. Well, thank you. Stefan Weide for um, joining us today from Cologne. Um, for those um, that listen to this webinar later on as a recording, again, um, you can find this presentation and also the DAD presentation with a link to the study scholarship on the DAD.org webinar page where you can also find um, other uh, webinars on more detailed information on DAD funding. So um, go to, to the website um, to check that out um, for more information. Again, thank you very much uh, for, for joining us from Germany. I hope you have a wonderful evening since it's already uh, your end of your work day. And um, again, thanks for joining and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye.